Thanks everyone for coming. Next week, because of the state wrestling tournament, we won't do our weekly media availability, and then we'll be back the next Tuesday. Questions for Coach? Do you have any overall thoughts on the duel over the state? Tournament? We got to score more takedowns. We got to get off the bottom five weights. I don't know how much riding time there was combined, but it was a lot. Weren't ready. Weren't ready. And the thing is, is you got to like. You know, you wrestle with guys like that. They're, they have a high-powered team. They score a lot of points, and you have to be ready, like beyond ready. And if you just think you're ready and you think it's normal, it's not normal. It's not a normal team. And that's not me putting them on a pedestal. That's not me conceding anything. We got to be better when we go out there. We got to be more ready when we go out there. What would you like at 149? Uh, he scored three takedowns. He scored two in regulation. The two he scored in regulation, he stuck with. Uh, it was a chain wrestle type situation. Uh, Frannick uh, would have served himself well by taking a lesson from 49, because uh, he was in deep to turn that match around. And, and then 49 looked like he was faint. The guy scored two takedowns on us in the third. And we get the takedown in sudden victory, and he sure didn't look like he was faint. He, he liked to whoop it up, and I, I'll tell you what, I was whooping it up with him. But we can, you know, it just shows that you can score. You can score when you got to score, and so keep scoring and widen that gap. Coach, any comment on Gabe Arnold? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to having him back in the lineup when that time comes. We love him. He's awesome. Is there a reason why he wasn't in the lineup tonight? He is, you know what, he is awesome, and we're looking forward to having him in the lineup when that time comes. What went into the decision to go with Ben uh, heavyweight instead of Brad? Um, I mean, it's not, that's not an indication of where we're at with Hill. It's just we got two guys there. We got a guy that's a true freshman um, that has a lot of potential. We love that guy. We love him in our program. And with the way the rules are, you got to put him out there. You got to put him out there in this environment against that opponent. It's, it's what I'm talking about, like that's an education because now you know, now you know. And what are you gonna do with that knowledge, with that experience, now you know. And that's what I mean. I mean, talking to him at the beginning of the week, this guy's gonna come faster than you think. You know, he's gonna hang, he's gonna hang, he's gonna hang, he's gonna hang, he's gonna come faster than you think. Well, now you felt it. We weren't ready to go in, in instances where in, in that first takedown it was, it was too easy. But hey, we gotta put the pieces together. Um, and we got to be better, we got to be stronger, we got to be smarter as coaches, and we got to come back strong, all of us. What do you see out of Drake Ayala tonight? He needed that. He needed that. He's had a little, advers little adversity, and he needed that. Two more takeaways at 197. 197. Um, you know, I think, uh, um, you know what? I'll let actions talk there. And um, I just, I like our guy. I like our guy, and I'm not going to fan any flames. I like our guy. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, everyone.